guys, wake up, and good luck on this, your last mission. Well done. Atlantis ISS, please stand by for the White House. Hi, please hold for the President. Hello. Hello, this is the International Space Station. Well, this is President Obama. Who am I talking to? <laughs> Hello, Mr. President. You're talking to the Increment 28 crew and the crew of the Space Shuttle Atlantis. Well, that's funny, see, because I was just dialing out for pizza, and uh, uh, I, I didn't expect uh, to end up in space. Well, yes, sir, it's, uh, it's really an honor and a privilege that you took some time out of your busy day to meet with us. Well, listen, it, it is wonderful to talk to you, uh, and, and I appreciate you guys taking out the time from, from your mission. Uh, I always want to just let everybody know uh, how personally proud I am of, of you and the amazing feats you guys are accomplishing in space. And uh, I, I was uh, here in, in the Oval Office watching you guys take off last Friday. Uh, we're all watching as, as uh, the 10 of you work together as a team to conduct spacewalks and manage experiments and do all the things that are necessary to keep the space station humming. Uh, your example, I think, means so much, not to, just to uh, your fellow Americans, but also to your fellow citizens on Earth. And, and the space program has always embodied uh, our sense of adventure and ex exploration and, and courage. Uh, as you guys work in a really harsh environment. Um, and I know that uh, there have been thousands who've poured their hearts and souls into America's space shuttle program over the last three decades that are following this journey with special interest. Uh, and to them and all the men and women of NASA, I want to say thank you. Uh, you've you helped our country lead the space age, and you continue to inspire us. And uh, Captain Ferguson, I realize that you're a, a veteran of previous flights, but uh, it must be pretty special to be uh, the commander on the last flight uh, of the historic shuttle program. Oh, absolutely, Mr. President. And uh, just let me say on behalf of uh, all of the international partners aboard the International Space Station right now, we're all just absolutely honored and privileged to represent our, uh, our home countries in this uh, multinational effort. And to answer your question, sir, yes, it is, uh, it is an extreme pleasure to be a, a, just a part of this fine crew of four who will represent our country uh, on, the, uh, on the final space shuttle mission uh, scheduled for uh, an undocking here in just a few days and a landing at Kennedy Space Center in, uh, in a little less than a week. Uh, well, look, uh, while this mission marks the final flight of the space shuttle uh, program, it also uh, ushers in a, an exciting new era uh, to push the, the frontiers of, of space exploration and, and human space flight. Uh, you guys will continue to operate uh, or crew members like you will continue to operate the, the ISS in coming years uh, and seek to use it to advance scientific research and technology development. I've tasked NASA with an ambitious new mission to develop uh, the systems and uh, kinds of space technologies that are going to be necessary to conduct uh, exploration beyond Earth and, and ultimately sending uh, humans to Mars, which is obviously no small feat, but I know we're going to be up to the task. So. Uh, I, I just want to say uh, how proud I am of all of you. Congratulations to NASA, to all our international partners, uh, and all of the personnel past and present who have spent countless hours and untold effort in making the space shuttle uh, uh, and the International Space Station uh, a unique part of our history. So uh, accept my gratitude on this tremendous accom accomplishment, and, and Godspeed as you guys return home next week. Well, thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. And once again, on behalf of uh, all the international partners on board, we're, uh, we're privileged that you took some time to speak with us today, and we're honored to represent everybody, uh, everybody on the planet Earth. Thank you, sir. You bet. Take care now.